Hello, welcome back to Banner Saga. We did everything we could, we spent all the rain on, so let's leave. We have 27 days worth of food, so we should be fine. We approach a city that only Varl have seen and cross a bridge that only Varl could build. Let us hope that we are the only unwelcome visitors to pass. All these warriors, another great war is upon us. It is the third time I have seen such a thing. There are far fewer of us now than there were once was. Krum heads up the stairs to the great hall and returns shortly after speaking to some Varl. What did they tell you? By all accounts the dredge are coming here. Looks like they plan to end the Varl for good this time. This place will become a killing field soon. They say the Prince of Men is here. They've got a man there too. Prince Lusin is here? From Arborag? In any case, we'll be given no audience today. You remember the last time you were here, Ingvar? It's Ivar. Yeah, I remember it. What now? We find somewhere to rest. I would recommend, uh, I would recommend keeping your people out of trouble while you're here, Rook. In fact, keep them invisible. Your own won't be happy you're here. You're shown to quarters, but could wander the city while you wait for an audience. You feel like you could sleep for a week straight. Our morale is not, not terrible. We don't, can't go to the market. There's nothing for us there. Well, we can rest. As you settle in your civil war to come to the Great Hall the next morning, I would suggest not speaking unless addressed, and even then, keep it short. In your dreams that night, you see foul kings fighting with dread lords, an ominous feeling lingers as you prepare to enter the Great Hall. Enough a wind, the bridge stands. Find some other way. Greetings from Rumto, Yorund. I've brought an ally. Who are these people? We don't have time for games. Wait, I know you. Ingvar among us again? Is this what the end of the world looks like? Yorun steps down from his throne to get a closer look. In the light, you spy deep wounds on the Varl King. It was my last option. You look like death, Yorun. The thunder came through Grofheim. All of them would still be there. A few thousand Varl remain. The lower has been following us since Grofheim. That is what he does. What will you do? Remain. There is no better place for us than here. We make our stand in Einar Toft. But even if Einar Toft falls, the Varl won't be wiped out. 
Haken is taking our best warriors to Arboran, as we were discussing. I'm not... Okay, we are back. I'm not going around. We are needed here. This is not a debate. A messenger burst through the doors, cutting the tension. He says a stone singer has been cutting a path across the bridge. Gods, can we not have a moment respite? They should not be here already. A stone singer is with them? Let me let me bring down the bridge. As I said, it will bury by us. I said the bridge stands, Mender. I say it again to you and the Prince of Man and the whole Mender Council. Were they here? I will not say it again. Hagen, you go to Arborang. Ewind, do not even touch that bridge. Am I understood? You are. Then I'll confront the singer myself. Nobody tries to stop a wind, but many follow as he leaves the great hall. The mender walks past great companies of varl on the way to the bridge. A tall, thin creature stands there, two black spears over its shoulders, ringed by dredge. The varl have backed away in fear. Awin stops before the still still to like the figure, suddenly Ivor beside you. We should help him. We expect Ivor to refuse, but instead he locks eyes with you. Listen to me, Rook. You will probably die here, and so will everyone else who steps on that bridge. Look at your daughter. Are you prepared for that? You're not doing this alone. I won't stop you. Fight like it's your last. You're not sure what to expect, but you draw your axe and soon find yourself standing behind a wind that would put wondering if you made the right decision. Okay, so it's not just two of them. But I would like to exchange old leaf. Okay, everyone. Or something. I could have given the bracelet to Olive. if she's level 3. Well, she's rank 3. We need to rush it. How are you fighting? Okay, you can only hit with this.
The stone singer falls hard, a howl like a hurricane sweeps across the bridge, the dredge parked like a black sea, from the depths steps a crimson behemoth, and a wave of sheer terror hits you like you've never felt before, the lower. Get the mender out of here, Ivor hisses, and do run. Your legs move, almost with a will of, the, of their own, though you can pull yourself away from watching what happens next. Practically unkillable. There's nothing else I can do, and I don't know why he's all of a sudden had a further. Oh, he's been injured, not dead. Ivor withers in agony, his arm torn clean off by Bellower's onslaught. The Sunder raises his weapon for the killing blow. Sunder! Face me, screams an answer uncertain A wind, stepping back onto the bridge, raising his staff high. Even from here you can see his arm trembling. You feel practically frozen in place watching. A wind recoils in terror from the massive serpent that has appeared in the distance, and even Bellower backs away. It leans in close to inspect the two armies, flicks its great tongue and then indefinitely, indefinitely lurches over the mountainside and out of sight. The dredge are not a note of confusion. Some cower, others crouch in what looks like warship. Haken shouts orders above the din. Vral rush forward, bowling over surprised dredge, graining ground. Belor has receded back into the horde. Yorund watches from atop the stairs. Hey! says Awin, suddenly pulling at your arm, snapping you out of the moment. You rush to Ivor, laying on the ground amidst the fighting, still breathing, breathing despite the missing arm, and drag him back into the city. Can you save? Yes, probably. Give me silence. Nearly three hours pass silently as Eowyn plies his thread. Fresh slowly forms and closes across Ivor's torn frame. That is as much as I can do. He should make it. Thank you. The mender looks exhausted, leaning heavily against the bed. When was the last time you slept? A couple days ago? I'm okay. I just need to sit. Before you can catch him, the mentor crumbles to the floor. Weary the weight of the sun. Eximic! Your side swims as if underwear. Memories fly away like startled ravens before you can capture them. With great effort to remember who you are, do you know. You also realize that the monumental serpent is speaking to you now. Your last certainty was that he died some time ago, and that it is about to happen again. Frustrating. You are slow to understand the serpent. It speaks in a language that recalls every ancient memories of words you learned long ago. If you are not going to die, I suppose we must speak instead. Who are you? My name is Juno. You are Juno? It means nothing to me. Maybe I have asked the wrong question. 
What are you? What is your purpose? I am a mender. Mender. <laughs> Valka. Now the picture is for me. Do you not know me, Valka? Though your memory is too fuzzy, you're certain you know nothing about an enormous serpent. What do you purposely say? The gods gave you purposely. Fate. Destiny. You stare no child coming to slay me with a magic sword? Are there no stars in the sky foretelling this disaster? Do you truly not know? The gods are dead. Dead? How is that? Are you a god? No. The gods are silent and before me stands one who knows not what they have done. Listen carefully now, for I will give you a prophecy. I am the end. Do you understand? This world and this tapestry I will devour. It is my purpose. But I cannot. Instead, now comes a wall of night to consume your pitiful world. Wall of night? The dredge? Dredge? Stone men marching across a long bridge? No, it is darkness. The egg white that has turned black. I am meant to devour the tapestry itself. Not idly witness the dusk smother this rock. I am incomplete. A worm crawling for a dank field. Because of you. Who are you to take my destiny? What are you? Return what is mine. Hey, Wind. Uh, do, do you know? You're, you're alive. You're alive. How? Where are you? Where, where am I? Asleep, I presume. Or unconscious. I am in return, I think. A serpent was trying to kill me. Now I'm talking to you. Time is moving strangely. I love swaddles of memories. But I found you. For a short time, at least. The serpent said something about the long breed, so I took a guess. It came after you? We saw, th we saw it at Einartop. Are you okay? It tried to turn me to ash after we spoke. I would be surprised if that's what the last we've seen of it. It could tear the land apart or cross cities if it wanted. What do we do? It gets worse. A prophecy of the gods that I've never heard of? There are still prophecies out there? It was vague, sounded like the serpent was supposed to swallow the world. Instead, some kind of darkness or nothingness is seeping from the north. It devours whatever it touches. That would explain why the dredge are swarming on us like someone kicked an anthill. Ewind, are you in danger? You could say no. So, Bolo is here. The Varl are holding him off, but not for much longer, I think. All of the Sunder, why the Immortal One? Blower. That is the worst of luck. I would have you come to me, but... We'll have to do this the hard way. Listen closely. I will return to Strand and find passage down the Red River. You must leave Einar Toft and meet me in single home. Do you know? We'll never make it to single home. Blower is about to overtake us. The Val won't listen to a thing I... Find a way. Do whatever it takes. I will not be able to contact you again before single home. Go. And Eivind? Yes? I love you.
You've spent a lot of time next to him since he passed out. Just keeping an eye on him. It's not like that, Dad. He saved either. He might save the rest of us. Can he hear us? He just moved. How long was I? You were out for a couple of days. How do you feel? Juno, she's alive. I need to meet her in single home. Hold on, slow down. Who's Juno? She's my mentor on the Mentor Council. She contacted me. Contacted you? How? She's not like most Menders. What happened here since I passed out? The Varl are holding the dredge back. Just barely. Blue has disappeared. Ivor is still out of it. Yorund sent Hakon, Ludin and a couple hundred Varl away to Arbarang. I don't know how long we'll be able to hold out here. Rook, I need your help. Take me to Singro home. Juno is going to meet us there. Singro home? That's got to be a week away, at least. And just abandon Einartoft? Maybe no... Maybe... Or... No. I could destroy that godforsaken bridge myself. That would delay the immediate threat, but your wound will never agree to it. I need to understand a few things, Awind. Uh, why won't the Royal King destroy the bridge? I can't completely understand it myself. The last time I mentioned it, he made his mind very clear. He let the city and the rest of the world fall before that damn bridge. How would you collapse that bridge? Not by myself. I could blast it apart, but this bridge wasn't made to fall. It'll take time and concentration. That's why I need your help. And the world will try, try to stop me. It could be. It could mean holding off both the dredge and the Varl. What do we do about the Balauer? I can't stop him, but I believe Juno can. That's why we need to go. We could just leave and let the Varl die to give us a head start. It's not my first choice. I've done everything I can on my own. What is going on around him? The serpent, the Balauer. Look. I know things are... It's a long story. How well do you know history? We're from a very small town in the Woos. I'll keep it short. You know how men and Val were made. The Loom Mother, the other gods. In the first great, great war, the armies of men and Val hated each other. They fought bitterly for land and dominance. The, then one of the gods created the dredge. And they were such a threat that unless men and Varl set aside their differences, they threatened to wipe out both races. So they did. They ended the war, pushed the dredge into the north and formed an alliance that has held ever since. The second great war began generations later. The dredge rallied their forces, defeated the Varl who watched the borders and laid waste to uns unsuspecting settlements throughout the world. They were led by Sindar powerful dredge, warlords and weavers, like Belauer. He was there in the Second Great War. Humanity was on the brink of extinction when the inner circle of mentors went forth and finally sent the Sundor and the dredge deep underground. For the most part, the dredge haven't tried to return since, well, until now. Those mentors were called Valka. Juno wasn't there herself, but she's from their bloodline. So another great war has begun. If I didn't think the world was ending, it would be incredible. Ancient history is playing out before us. What about the serpent? That's another story. I... There's nothing in the Mender's libraries about that thing. It must have something to do with the dredge returning. That seems likely. Okay, I need time to think about this. I understand. Be quick, Rook. There has to be some way to... I can't believe the Varl would be so stubborn. Speak to your own sweet self. He is in the Great Hall. Maybe you'll have more luck. Or maybe he'll put your head on a spike. Rook, I hate to put all this on your shoulders, but I've got few friends here. Come to a decision quickly. Either way, we can't stay. We have to make it to single home. Juno will know what to do. Hey, and before anything else happens, I think this is the 
good place to end this part so for now thank you very much stay alive and see you soon bye